expecting okay. a bigger dungeon, but you're wrong. You got a dragon up, Kaw. No one can see you like this. Oh, I'm dragging on my end. No, you're uh, you're unsightly. Oh yeah, now you're dragging to me. You're human. Dragon oh, these. it's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I see a dragon. I see a, an old man, a, a fleshy okay. human man. I can't believe that toaster has inferior eyes. Wait, where did you Oh, I died. Oops. Guys, I suck at video uh, games. I don't think I can back sound this guy. Okay. <laughs> this guy's angry. This guy, could definitely, this guy could definitely use a Snickers. This guy could use a Snickers. <laughs> He's, you're not you when you're hungry. Yeah. He's who are you? his horny sword. Horned Warrior Gauntlets, very fun. Uh, all right, let's see. Careful with these enemies because they it's throw items that cause what frenzy. The fuck was happening in this room. It's so strange trying to parse what that effect is. Coming from the books, it's knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass. Read a book, idiot. Uh, all right. It's just the weird ass lightning attack thing. All right. It's very funny. Zoop. Especially since whenever you first walk in, you always see it hopping from one table to the other table, and you're like, what's happening in this room? Then you look upstairs, there's a guy just throwing pots at us. <laughs> He's throwing like I feel like if you're your pots. I feel like if you're illiterate, you, that should not be able to affect you. Mm. That's can, a tickle. Can, What's happening can there? You be, can you be too dumb for Lovecraft to uh, scar you? Yes. Yeah, I believe like so. Absolutely. Yes, uh, yeah. That's actually a mechanic in Call of Cthulhu. You can make an int check, and if you fail, you don't go crazy. Because you don't understand. You're, you're, you're not oh, understanding the secrets of the I universe. I have an advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Playing an idiot my, against cosmic horror is like really my good. My character could just be too dumb to know that things are upsetting. I beg you, stop! Haven't I taken enough? Are we <laughs> that not was directed at me? <laughs> are we not brethren, common in our line, and yet you offer only cruelty? I ask, what There's crime ladder, did Great Midra commit? So Midra was a horn scent who is being attacked by other horn scent for his heretical beliefs. Now, what those beliefs actually are is undetermined because it's it's unclear if these guys were frenzied first or became frenzied later. Um, Maybe when after, he was believing and frenzied them. After the horn scent uh, damaged him. But damaged him? That's not the right word. Um, tortured him. That's right. the word I was looking for. That's a form of damage. It's a form of damage. <laughs> it's also a form of brain damage for me because I can't remember English. <laughs> mm. They tattooed damaged on their forehead. No, no. So cool and twisted. <laughs> Did you know that I'm crazy? I never saw any of those movies, so I'm unspoiled beyond the promo images. You're better off for it, I think. Yeah, the, I've, I've the never Suicide seen Jared Squad movies. I, I saw the good Suicide Squad, and that's it. Uh, I never saw <laughs> I never saw Suicide Squad, and I never saw ah! Bird or whatever. So that's I've right. never seen Jared Leto perform the Joker. You're better off for that. Now me, I I'm, I, oh, the, I know the, the good the suicide rat room, school. the room of rats. Oh, rat! Oh, they're falling off. <laughs> oh. Me too. We all fell off. Oh, Hello, two rats. Two of us have fallen down. Two of you guys have fallen down now. I have fallen. I, when I was clearing out this room the first time I played this area, Ow. it literally took me a half hour to just constantly run back and forth <laughs> because of how the often I just room. fell. <laughs> The room itself does have even more holes in it, which is very funny. Yes. Uh, I cleared this room my first try and did not notice the holes till after the fight was over. And I'm like, oh, they're everywhere. Oh, I love this area. This is such a fun little well, legacy I the big dungeon. one in the middle, but I noticed that all the corners are covered in holes. And I'm like, oh, why is this room uh, yeah. with so many holes? God, I love this, this area, this boss, this everything that we're about to witness is just beautiful. <laughs> Just... I'm amused that at this point I've probably played Elden Ring for like two or three hundred hours or something, mm -hmm. and I still can't fucking tell fall damage. Yeah. Like I look, I, like, I look at, I like I look at this what? area that with the falling right here, 
And I look down there and I'm like, that that'll kill me. Obviously. Okay, who is and this weirdo? What is going on? You can see him He's in fine. there. He's fine. And you might remember him from one of the trailers. He's fine. Oh, I, I did not watch any of the DLC trailers. Well, then there. Well, wait, you didn't? Then you're <laughs> missing great story content because one of them has like a it's like a bespoke cutscene. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember people talking about that. Yeah, I, I still haven't. That, is a, I, that uh, is a thing that from software does for some reason is put exclusive narrative content in its in its fucking trailers. I did not know that. Yeah, the story the story cutscene has dialogue no! and cool stuff in it. I like it a lot. Damn. Skill issue. There we go. All right, someone jump down there and pull the little switch so that I... Uh, hey, I'm already down here. Cool. Where is it? Where's the little Toaster switch? doesn't want to go downstairs. I went downstairs I'll anyway. Yeah, Andrew went down this. there by his own choice, 100%. Yeah. I grabbed some items. Yeah. <laughs> I, I went out. I went down here because no. I knew. Swollen grab. Swollen grab. Def definitely had nothing to do with me crossing at the same moment. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. No, no, no. I'm perfect at platforming. Oh, oh, has wait. in fact never made a mistake at platforming. I've never made a mistake in my life. Period. I've never even played a platformer. I know that's that. just how good I am. I That's mean, I guess it's one way to not ever make yeah, yeah, mistakes exactly. of platforming. Exactly. That's like how I have 100% success rate at Slay the Spire because I played it once. So over here, there is a cool thing. There's a, just a cool little spot. Uh, there's oh, it's a, this room yeah. from the loading screen. It's this there room from go. the loading screen. So that's Midra and then a character named Nanaya. And when obviously, came in, the ghost was running and had to walk back to his normal position. It's an illusory wall because, of course, it is. The fucking ghost at the beginning of the dungeon was running and had to go back to his normal spot. Weird. I didn't even realize they were programmed like actual NPCs. That's odd. All right. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. That... I didn't realize they were going to get here so soon. <laughs> I don't think they're ever supposed to move, so it's like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they had to go like, back to its spot. Oh, Miyazaki, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> he was on his lunch break. He was taking a cigarette break. <laughs> I'm so fucking fired, man. <laughs> I need this job. <laughs> I got nothing else. Nothing else pays this many souls. All right. So here's Ka's, uh weapon for the rest of the game. Oh. oh ho, ho. Nanaya's ah, torch. A torch <laughs> made by attaching a dying flame of frenzy to a small spinal column. In a distant land in oh. an age long past was born a man who failed to become the lord of frenzied flame. All that remains of him is cradled gently so by Nanaya. Fuck this. So this is this is a torch that is flame is faith arcane I think maybe. No, it's mundane. Oh, mundane! That's so fun for you. I, uh, oh, it's one of these don't, guys. I don't have enough hint for it. Oh! Oh! What? Oh, stop! You bastard! Stop it. Stop with this move. Oh, oh, my God. Wait, I can fall again? I don't even know, yeah, there, I, don't even know yeah. I was on a ledge. There we go. Revered really Spirit Ash. Right he drops Revered Spirit Ash. So uh, sure you... Should I Ooh. get back up there for it? Nice. There's a, there's a staircase over here behind the thing. Milo, get off my desk right now, you little fucking Milo, demon. Kill. You little <laughs> demon. You little <laughs> nightmare <laughs> creature from hell. Milo Where? responds to Alexa commands. Where is that staircase? <laughs> Alexa, kill. Behind where the bookshelf came out that we could jump over. Uh... Yeah, and the corner of the bookshelf moved forward so you can physically walk behind it now because it, it became a platform. I will go stand in front of where it is. Right here. Okay. Ow. Oh, that guy had a revered spirit ash. I had to go back and kill him. Which guy? The big fat guy. The... Yeah. Oh, you mean oh, in yeah. your game? Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. Someone kick the ladder down. D don't jump <laughs> across onto this before you... <laughs> Grab the ladder. Got it. I, I, I got the ladder. Because <laughs> I did that, and it was a bad idea for me. <laughs> I'll get some more spirit. Ash knock there. this thing down. More revered spirit ash. 
I had a weird thing ash? where I was way ahead on, on Revered Spirit Ash compared to uh, my Shadow Tree level. Uh, at the, for like when I got to the, like, the dancing lion and so on, and, I, and it, it, I was like, oh, I guess I'm just finding these faster. Then I found out that Revered Spirit Ash caps at like half the level, so I was like, why am I ahead so much? <laughs> what the fuck's happening? All right, so the boss of the area is right ahead. Oh, so lost. you're lost, <laughs> Ka. Yeah. How'd you get uh, lost? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The right. level's confusing. Who's so hey, who's yelling? I like Second these. Floor. I like these Inquisitors because if you look at their catalysts, they are rune arcs. They they hold like little rune arc candelabras, which I think again gets to that point I was making earlier of like you can't make anything from nothing. So like a big theme of this DLC is like Merica's golden order and like this beautiful religion that she created that was supposed to be like free of suffering and with eternal life and abundance. It kind of just turns out that like it's built off of an empire of bodies and like of previous religions and that same idea of like Christmas was a pagan holiday before it was Christmas. Like all of that exists here in this game. What? Uh, all right. Are we ready to fight, fight the boss? But his name's in the holiday. What do you mean? It's not his. <laughs> Let's do it. He should talk. I believe. I don't think everyone is. Everyone uh, here? <laughs> Come on, man. What is this guy? He's oh, like, good job. He's good job. Man, so, your cheeks are out, bud. What's going on? <laughs> leave him alone. He's trying. Oh, he's going to be trying to die soon. <laughs> what a fool. This stupid little shitlord boss. God, yeah, what so the much, fuck? This is a Jesus thematic Christ. fight more than a difficult fight, really. Uh, yeah, it's like, a, it's like at the end of Demon's Souls. Ooh. Just kidding, bitches. Why would you say something so quickly? Because the screen loaded. I'm in the cutscene. Yeah, but they don't know what it means. Enough. I have endured more than enough. We'll just take that thing back out. Uh, yeah, I? that's exactly. That's, yeah. Uh, His head vagina is really interesting. It's very young. Uh, <laughs> that's great. That's oh, one way of grabbing it. Is this the brainchild of his head womb? Oh! Oh no! No! Your head's attached. It, 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 no, you can't do. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh, that's gonna have to... <laughs> it's nice. so awful. Oh! Forgive me, Sansa oh. Bart. <laughs> uh, wait. How are you gonna wield it if your head comes off? I wonder. Head gone. Twist off. Twist man. Oh, I guess I get, you can see. Uh, let's go. Why you have a fire hole? You turn into the dead cells protagonist, but yellow. He's agape with fire. <laughs> Wait, is his head on the end of the sword though? No, it was ripped off. That's a missed opportunity. That would be funny yeah, as I, hell. Yeah, I was, I was looking to see if he just beats you with his own head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that's how he's seeing. his combo, the head screams. Congrats, we're now <laughs> fighting the best boss of the DLC. Oh, he just the sprays madness? Wild. Yeah. Fuck this guy. Is he backstabbable? No. Gonna be... He is parryable, though. You I died it. in is one he? hit. <laughs> and yes, he is parryable. Vigor check. Oh. So this guy is a Dark Souls boss to end all Dark Souls bosses. He feels what like he's from Dark Souls 3 very much. Oh. Ow. I can't believe I died Ow. in one hit. Holy shit. Uh-oh. What is he doing? That, that doesn't look I'm not going to look at him. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, welcome to the arena. I could be wrong, but is I that a laser face, beam? I think he face yeah. changes whenever you stagger him once. He does, yeah. Whoa, seems what? reliable. Oh, I love the music in this fight. It's so sick. Oh, that's not. He didn't need to know. <laughs> Jesus, He's what is he doing? Boy. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
This music, though, holy shit. This fight kicks so much ass. I don't want to be next, leave me alone. Sounds like Bloodborne music. It's Mimic. so fucking sick. What are you doing? Da, 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 are you kidding? Da, 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 da. Uh oh. Um, um, <laughs> okay. He hasn't done the really scary stuff yet. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Took the really scary stuff yet. What does that mean? Ow. Well, he just lasered me. He's we did dead. it! Okay. We beat Midra, Lord Yay. of Frenzied Flame. And we God. got 500,000 souls for it. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn. Oh, I should have put on a thing to give me more souls. This is a... Uh, oh, yeah. This is a hell of a good boss. Midra's too fair to stand up against five people. <laughs> yep. That's fun. Oh, Sit man. at the bonfire. Thank you. Uh, yeah, this is a great fight. This is a really great fight. Oh, three levels. Wow. And Illusory can still go home and play it on his own because he didn't get to do it at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there you go, kind of Illusory. Immediately decapitated. I Jeez. literally died in a single hit. <laughs> I was doing fine until I got hit, just full face blasted by the laser and just instantly died. I'm like, oh, because it because it triggered madness and like, while well, also hitting me with the damage. Oh, like, oh good, well, good gone. fight, good music, just good, good Souls game. You gotta love it. They should make like another Souls game sometime. All right. Uh, what's the, what, what's the, the closest side of grace? Is what's the time the... is ripe. Did, it, did one spawn in the, in the boss room? Or? Yeah, yeah table, it's called uh, discussion, discussion Chamber. Discussion Chamber. The sit in Discussion Chamber. The Dis Chamber. What God. is this? Why is it all ashy here? He burned a lot of incense oh, and that. then burned himself. It's covered in the hay. Entire, There's a lot of the hay entire everywhere. entire room was full of fire. Yeah. He's I do. A smelly guy. I think it is incense sticks that are just kind of thrown around or bones, maybe, or something. Because if you look, he has like little incense holders on his little rug that he was enduring on. And so let's read the description. It says Remembrance of Midra, Lord of Frenzied Flame, hewn into the Shadow Tree, the power of its namesake, blah, blah, blah. As the golden barbs inflicted eternal agony upon him, Midra held fast to Nanaya's entreaty. Endure. The word was a curse. Forgive me, Nanaya. So suffering makes the frenzied flame worse, as it turns out. It's not great. Uh, and there is a item I want to... Um, I'm going to go back to the round table hold because I want to read the description of uh, the weapon that you get from his remembrance, which is really fucking cool. Um, his upsetting trident thing. Yeah, his great sword. So... He, uh, he allows you to get either Midra's Flame of Frenzy, which says, The Lord of Frenzied Flame shall take their torment, despair, their affliction, every sin, every curse, all melted away. Yet Midra, like others before him, was too weak to become a lord. And then the Great Sword of Damnation says, Golden Great Sword that once pierced the body of Midra, master of the manse, used by the Horn Scent in the execution of a damnation like no other. The barbs that pierce the victim from within wind gently around the blade. There is something of the golden order in the sight of those fixed upon this crux. Uh, so once again, the go the golden order has its roots, like these these ideologies, this uh, this truth behind the golden order, behind unalloyed gold, behind America's torment of the horn scent and the omen. All of that goes back to these original sins of the horn scent. And then Putrescence, uh, which we didn't read before, says uh, weapon wielded by the Putrescent Knight gains power from the wielder's arcane attribute. And then uh, in ages long past, death was burned by ghost flame. Even the remains of tainted flesh were given equal treatment in death. Uh, we can get Rolana's twin moons, which say in her childhood, she and her sister Renala met these moons overlapping as though nestled against one another. So, yep, those are all the uh, remembrances we haven't we hadn't looked at yet. Let's see if I can upgrade anything because I think we got some solid upgrade materials since the last time we were here. Oh, I can't talk to anyone. Uh, I'm, I'm leveling up. 
Uh, I'm now off of it. Okay. So yeah, I really like Midra's Mance. It's fun. It's a good take on a painted world. You know? It's got a clever gimmick. Just a neat, neat little spot. Neat little thing. I dig it. It's got good vibes, too, which is also very important. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't feel like anywhere else in the game. Uh, all right. Uh, where do we... I will be happy for the horse to come back. That's enough running along great uh, big, long fields. Yeah, we should do no um, <laughs> the area behind Shadowkeep now. Um, specifically, uh, we should talk to Emir. So, uh, bridge leading to the village. This is by the fly, no. By Bonnie Village. The we could go, village. we should probably go to the fly village because there's stuff there. Yeah. Um, so actually let's teleport to Recluse's um, river upstream. Oh, or downstream yeah. somewhere. Do you know where the Manfly Village is, Ka? Yeah. Is it up or down? I is don't remember how to get there. I do. Okay, jeez, lay off. Yeah, there's a back road along the cliff from up from upper river thing. Oh, so now everyone's an expert. Yeah. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what we're talking about. I'm oh, if we find one years. thing Toaster doesn't know, we have to capitalize on it. I'm gonna attack you, and by that I mean <laughs> there is a, uh, there's a, there's a, there's a jar, and I just dropped it, the thingy, into the water. So like, get on my stuck level. Stuck in a loading screen. Oh stuck god! Oh god! Oh god! No. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Yeah, I uh, narrowly avoided death. I'm gonna oh. need to banish. Or an... All right, I will banish oh, no. you. Shenanigans. Well, um, yeah, I'll banish you really quick. I banished you. Oh, my connection error occurred. World is open again. Um, I'm gonna run down and pick up the bell bearing that I forgot to grab. I haven't really turned any of those in. I also need to go back and grab the cookbook that I forgot in the Abyssal Woods because I'm a big dumb um. Uh, wow. I'll do that after the session. I can't believe you forgot something. I did. I forgot something and it was bad of me. I've, I've actually... I will never recover. <laughs> All right. Recluse's I mean, River established you've never made a mistake, so that means that this is the first one. Like that's it wasn't like, a, it wasn't a shattering. it wasn't a mistake. It was an omission. Um, yes, yeah, so let's go down here to. I think it's down here. Is this where it is? I don't fucking remember. Yes, it is. It's down here. Okay. Yeah, it's just the cliff next to the bonfire. And then there's a a curse curse blade. Oh, it's a joining bug out. It took me a while, but eventually got through. I think I'm getting the version of the bug where it doesn't let you in. Okay. It doesn't say anything for a long time. Do I have to banish everyone again? Uh, are you at a loading screen, or are you just saying? No, nah, I haven't like... started loading yet. I think this is the one where when oh, it happens, okay. I have to quit. Whoa, whoa. Oh, Kaz using the, the attack that doesn't work on non tarnished. But it does fire. It does fire. Alright, careful because there's a curse blade right here. Ugh. 
Did you get in, Keith? I'm rebooting the game. Oh, okay. We can just keep fighting the bugs. Just don't pick up any, like, items that are just around the environment right now, and then when Keith gets in, he'll be able to grab them. Because there's stuff up here that we're going to want to grab. Village of Flies. Ah. Glowing stuff. I'm here. Okay. Yay. There we go. I am very excited, very excited to do the rest of this DLC. I think, realistically, we could finish this whole DLC in two to three more sessions. Wow. What? Really? Yeah. That's ambitious. We could do it. I'm not, I'm not scared at all. There's not a ton of, like... Stuff left. Square mileage left. Yeah. Mm. It's pretty much just all of the parts of the map that are, like, north of the Shadow Keep. Yep. We just have to do Emir's quest, and then... I, those specials, those ones are also like especially empty. Yeah. Oh! I didn't even notice the swarm. swarm. Yeah, swarm. And then places that normally are time consuming, like the Shadow Keep, we kind of bulldoze through as a multiplayer group. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It, that, that's just a straight up, like, take hours to finish that place in single player, because you're, you're having to be careful there's so many threats. And those fucking flame oh lights. Oh my god. If you don't have the correct weapon or an actual nightmare. I found the flame lights very easy if you're just using a shield. I, uh, yeah. I stun locked I, yeah, them. Back, I back, backstab. Er. Do we do guard breaks or backstab fishing? I forget one of the two. I know I'm just kind of. It just got very dark. I, uh, my, my I tactic. Respond. Yeah, I respond. My tactic was to, uh,. They would stagger in three jumping attacks with martial arts, so I would just jump R2, jump R2, jump R2, and then I would stab them and they would die. Yeah, I was trying to use Rolana's great uh, light great swords, and uh, they never stagger, ever. Mm -hmm. So you just have to deal with their entire moveset and offset timing fireball and all the shit that's supposed to make them scary. And it's a nightmare. And then I switched to my same scythe that I use whenever I stop caring. And it fucking stun locks them and kills them in like three hits. Like, Man fly <laughs> ashes. Just again and again and again, I switch back to my scythe and I'm like, why do I ever try? But I mean, isn't aren't Lana's weapons quality? They're like mundane. They're int faith weapons, aren't they? Yeah, they're not very good. It's a pain they in the ass to they, scale for. They, they just cannot keep up with my. Uh, yeah. With my faith site that I fin basically finished scaling before I entered the expansion. All right, I think that's like everything I think over here. I could be wrong, but let's just really quickly check. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, with the uh, with the Rolana weapons, I already have like 50 faith, 50 int, 50 strength, and 50 dex. Like I've like I raised all of the stats for them, <laughs> mm -hmm. and it's they still can't keep up with like really basic weapons that don't reasonably have scaling anymore yeah they have a you have to there's like a really weird <clears throat> specific yeah. way to optimize them that i personally am not a huge fan of i, I don't really like weapons that are like, that finicky I, I don't like why i don't like how much weird background know how it seems to take to just figure out how to make weapons just basically viable besides the information provided it's like yep Reg on a regular basis i'm just like what's going on game i mean i think I assume that you, most of these weapons exist because you want them to be usable and here on purpose so why why are they so non-competitive the the big thing with that those ones is that they're actually the <clears throat> relana's great swords are extremely strong weapons it is just you have to like you want to optimize for their weapon art and for their damage like they're like the sort of knight in flame where it's like just using it in pve it makes it seem like they're really weak because you're like i'm just gonna put the stats up but like there is an actual good order of operations to use for them that will maximize the damage that they do on their magic attacks. Because that's all you want to do is you just want to spam the magic attacks with those weapons. Uh, all right. I think 
this area is good because this is just the catacombs again. So we are free to head back to the bridge leading to Bonnie Village once people get out of combat with flies. Never. <gasps> Andrew's stunning me with golf clubbed flies. Whee! Okay. Bridge leading to the village. And we can at the very least start Emir's quest after taking out the giant that's right here. This was the first one where I actually saw the message on the ground. Yeah. Wait, did we already kill this one? I don't remember. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. No. No, no, yeah, no we didn't. Because we wouldn't go north because of the rune. The rune. That's right. Yeah. Correct. All right. I should be okay. Oh, yeah. This is the puppy zone. The puppy zone? Oh, Jesus. The zone where puppies are? Yeah. <clears throat> the puppy bowl. All right. Now I'm going to jump up on the spirit spring. Let's get up here, folks. Okay, and now I'm gonna test to see if this works. Oh, great! Can't craft any more stuff right now, so that's fun. Good luck, have fun. It does work. These are solid. Top Topes's barrier is great if cost stands in it. I can just do this while we're you guys are all close to me, and it should block off the fire. Just stand really close to me. And then we'll get him to come over here. And this should give us free reign to uh Oh god, I'm dying. <laughs> Stay very close to me. Well I was standing next to you, then I opened my inventory to, to equip the pots. And then he walked away and I died. <laughs> or I was dying. Okay, is he gonna come closer? Maybe back up a little <clears throat> bit. He refuses. He's here to be a very annoying. Stay near me. I should be able to topes his barrier. And we'll just wait a little bit and now. Oh no. Oh no, our <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got killed by the AoE that was landing in front of me. All right, I think that might be close enough though. I think as he took a step uh, forward. He is if you need a good spot to hide hard. from the fire without getting killed, it's right over here. Yep. Behind Let's go. Rocks. Free aim from a distance. You, hey, you did it. I nice. It. Whoa. <laughs> Landed right <Nice>. in him. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah. Did you one shot him? Pro gamer. Yep. Yeah, that's what happens if you throw it in there. Oh, it always took me two to three. Yeah, it was two for me, but I also ran out of always... hefty furnace pots. I think it, it might, might be also. Affected by your shadow fragment level. Yeah, I think it is. Oh, right. Because I was like, yeah, it took, mm. they took way longer than that. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, they, they took. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's taken more than one for me before. Now I gotta grab my health. Or my runes. Here we go. Oh, it is the puppy zone. I forgot how I forgot how many yeah. wolves are in this area. Yeah, there's so there's many so of many, them. So many. It's just the wolf zone. And because I'm always terrified that like defeating off like an entire group might drop a special item or whatever, like I tediously just like killed every single one. You know, like what? <laughs> Wow. I'm just like, you never know. You, you never, never know. know. One of them's going to drop the wolf blood talisman that turns you into a wolf. Exactly. <laughs> Finally. No, I, I can never be puppy side. I can never be bothered with with the uh, world mobs. They might as well not exist as enemies. Jeez. So it, snooty. It depends for <laughs> me. These ones, there are so many of them that it's like and they're so low health that it's, it's pretty just... easy to just like farm souls off of them if you just have an AoE. Which is what I like to do. All right. Yeah, I've just I've got a I've got a horse, so I just I'm, bye bye. <laughs> I'm not stopping. That would involve getting off the horse. Oh yeah, I do the opposite. I, I get off the horse <laughs> so I can Jesus. like fight them better. <laughs> Completely unrelatable. Oh, this is the weird tower. I remember. Rabats yeah, 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 we rise, got, yeah. We yeah we got to uh, oh, yeah. find it. There's a ba secret balcony with a thing to break the thing or whatever. Yeah. Just right here. Yeah, it's, a, it's right here. 
Are there, is there any items there. on this level? Uh, I do not know. There's one in the tower, I guess. Yeah, there is one in the tower, but that's it. Okay, there's cool. another there's even more secretive secret floor. There is another more secretive floor that we will we will get to. Yeah. When we get to it, Keith, slow <laughs> your God. horses. It's a cool tower and a cannon I'll never use. <laughs> it is a it is a cool tower, but it's a cannon illusory or call might like. Actually, maybe I'll like it because I think it might scale with in. Twenty eight strength new. Wee. Raboth's cannon, magic of glintstones cast. encircled a barrel. It's a it's a magic shotgun, magic cannon. I used it a little bit on my main character, but didn't really. I don't know. I didn't love it, or, but I <laughs> yeah, should experiment with it more. Horse on an elevator. All right. Uh, Living well, enough when I'm going. Let's to... let's go do. Let's talk to Emir. Did you guys yeah. know that uh, Torrent can't yes. press buttons? What? I just now learned that because I tried to. Yeah, I can't. On the elevator, you can't press the button with Torrent. Oh, I, so I, I have a hypothesis. Uh, m remember when we were in the jails that have like the elevators that are like those the hanging yeah. like pots or whatever, um, and like sometimes they weren't working for us. Yeah, I think the way they work is that they're effectively covered in an invisible button, like the same way that other other <laughs> elevators, you, you can see the button depress and that lets you know when you can step down on it again. Yeah, just imagine that the entire surface of it is covered in an invisible one of those. And I think that's how those work. So when um, we couldn't get it to work, it was because we were st someone was still someone, standing on the button. Some someone needed to get off of it. Or gotcha. Yeah, Interesting. because I ran in I ran into that in normal co-op outside of seamless co-op yeah just on playstation Intriguing. Uh, yeah so I, I think that's what's up but i could be wrong i think there is a cave somewhere on the side of this area somewhere but i don't remember oh so jeez there is a moonlight altar here so this place has a lot of hints to it being related to caria right out of the bat uh there's a starlight altar over here there are marionettes everywhere. There are wolves everywhere. No, 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 no. Why are they like this? <laughs> Why are they like this? Cringe, you mean? Omega Ow. level wow. cringe. Oh, there's, I was just out in the open here. There, yeah. yeah, there's stop. a remembrance ah, duplicator. Stop me. I don't remember. I don't remember. I feel. I really think that there's like a cave. I can never remember. Hi. Uh, high radium. Um, I, I don't remember there being a cave around here, but I could be I wrong. I know where it is. Okay, Ka. But do we want to do you may first? No. Bring me and to the, the cave really quickly. The fucking invisible lady that I never saw. Invisible lady? She's wearing black armor in a black room. Oh yeah, uh, Jolan. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know what you meant. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't <laughs> see her until the second time I came here. Where are you, Ka? I didn't Ka? see her at all ever. Oh, there I'm you are. Southwest. Of yes. Okay. Um, I knew there was a cave like hanging off the edge of one of these places, but I couldn't remember where it was. Yep. And there's like I a. I don't remember if I missed this or not. It's a sorcery, I think, or like an ash of war or something. Yes. Oh no no I I yeah I got it. Does that open from Trump. this side? From software moment. But it's. It's just the door. It's just the door between the grace and the NPC in the church. Yeah. Because there's a yeah. side door you can walk in. If you walk in from that side, you can't open the door to the grace. You have to go back out and go around. Correct. Yeah, he scary. locked his door. He doesn't yeah. want strangers coming in through so, the fucking side door. So fucking funny. It's a pull door, not a push door, Keith. <laughs> so stupid. There we go. Yep. Pull and push doors open from the same side. Oh, yeah, no, I, I did find this. Yeah, carrying sovereignty. So this is this is the cave that I was thinking about. I, like, I guess I could just not go down there. Twenty-seven levels ago, where I was like, I think there's a cave on the side. Where is it? It has uh, a sorcery okay. in it. It's been plaguing me the whole time, guys. <laughs> that is a very good. Your plague of gripes. It's very slow, but uh, very powerful. Right. And now we can talk to our good friend Emir. 
who is a really interesting character, lore-wise. Uh, we have the cathedral now. Cool. Oh, yeah, cool. It's warped right. Man, it's met here. Yep, but so, does anyone here know Latin-ish? Fake Miyazaki no. Latin? Does anyone know? What does that mean? Hand? Um, the <laughs> fake Miyazaki lantern. Uh, no, Latin. La Latin. So, so the Latin that he uses in the game isn't like real Latin. It doesn't like actually translate properly. <laughs> but you can kind of tell what he means by like searching up the words and their etymology and stuff. Um, the the place here, Manus Metir, means the Church of the Mother of Hands. That makes sense because yeah. Manus Hands of Fate. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Correct. So, Jolan is not spawned here currently because we haven't talked to Emir yet. Oh, that's why, Mister. Yeah. She yeah. Didn't yeah. Exist. Exactly. So, <laughs> this is a really cool person, and I'm gonna I'm gonna reference him later. But if you look at him, he is wearing an outfit that looks very similar to the outfits worn by the the preceptor on the Carrion Inverted Hourglass, which we'll get later. Well, I feel like this is better we don't than often receive visitors. I am Emir. Oh, welcome. The Final Fantasy XIV better. patch effect everything. It is a pleasure. We might need to um, banish you all. As these oh. chance encounters what did you do? Indeed. Because I, I talked to him. Here on this oh, I got a thing. Allow me cool. to I got a whole lady yeah, necklace. Got a bunch of, yeah, yeah. A modest offering. But you guys aren't hearing his dialogue. And now we won't. Correct. Yeah, now you won't. So he basically says, like, hey, I will mark, like, hello, friend. I will mark your, your entrance to this place with a request. Uh, go to the Finger Ruins and use this whole laden necklace. The whole laden necklace says, use it a hollowed ruin to sound a hanging bell, a pale blue necklace made from a thin, elongated stone hollowed out from the inside. It was a teaching of Count Emir. The fate of the one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. And he gives you a map that says, I only wish to be of service. Uh, and he has other dialogue, so we'll want to uh the map I give you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, I only wish to be of service to help those who fight for There's their so purpose. There's so much loading to be had. Mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter. Are you not? Is something the matter? I've given you a map to the hallowed ruin. <coughs> oh, I know right, I'm the here. feeling. You can just talk to him. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous for power, for truth. I, too, am a glintstone sorcerer. We study the stars. And examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust, born of a great rupture far across the skies. We too are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet, none can fathom its implications, its utter brilliance. Do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. He says something very cryptic at the end. And then Jolan will spawn. We can talk About to the her. little boy? Yeah. And then we can all talk to Jolan when she appears. I have no interest in small talk. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir. And you are not among them. I don't them. step on the kid. I looked Only around for him and I was like, where's the little boy? I will say. Why are we trying to step on him? Kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, I'll step on him where I want. You will sorely regret it. Hello, Katana Be lady. Gone. There is nothing more to say. And if you go out to the left, there's this little graveyard out here. And is there... There's a gravestone you can examine. 
And it says, Yuri, beloved child, taken before his time. So this is an interesting little, little weird little place. It's uh, interesting because it's not the most prominent gravestone mm -hmm. in the area. So it's just like, it, yeah, very, very odd. It is just an odd spot. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever found it. I'm going to go to the Cerulean yeah, if, Cloak. If you go like straight down the steps and like straight forward and it's a little bit on the right. If you <laughs> like, go I don't know here, how to describe it. if you go to this area in the early morning, he will be praying there as well. Yeah, you can find him. Uh, yeah. You can find it via the blue flowers. Yeah. That's because all the rest of it's like wheat or whatever. Wild grass. Wheat. I don't know why I said wheat again. Yuri, beloved child. <laughs> Just looked at the word Yuri. Wheat, wheat beloved wheat. child. <laughs> wheat boy. <laughs> ba baked before his time. <laughs> There's something so deliciously edgy about her having spiked armor, a black katana, and the black katana is continually emitting black smoke. So I don't think, uh, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to take too much time uh, from Illusory. This is usually when you have to bail. Yeah. So let's that just. That was a good bailing I point. I think it'll, uh, yeah, I think it'll, it'll be a good stopping here. point. Yeah. Um, I did a couple comments. Um, yeah. I just kind of find it funny. Like when he says, I only wish to be of service, mm -hmm. that immediately this is very specific, but brings back like Demon Souls. Uh, yes. Traumatic memories where I'm like, where Demon Souls, it's like I only wish to be a humble servant or whatever. And I'm yeah. Like, no, you Fuck you, man. Yeah. Like, I don't trust you at all. You Just have ulterior motives. <laughs> also, <laughs> other detail that's kind of funny. Uh, could be a mistake. Could be 100 percent intentional. Uh, he pronounces her name as Jolan. Yeah. Yep. Uh, she does not. But she that does is the not. Most, that is the most reasonable real world thing ever. Yes. Uh, that is like I have an uncle named Hector who other people would call Hector. You know? Yeah, yeah. That it's just literally just like he could, they could be from different places where they just pronounce the name differently. So, yep. uh, I just found that interesting. Like, I wonder if, from like a development perspective, if the voice actors like just weren't on the same page and it was actually a mistake or if they like put that in intentionally. You could go either way. thing where you get your subordinate's name wrong on purpose as a power move. That, that's what, it, yeah, it feels like a little bit. Like, he's a little lazy to like pronounce her name incorrectly. <laughs> like,. Yeah, I actually, I, I I did think of that. Her it's name is Yoran in Japanese, and I believe he does call her Jolan in J Japanese. Yeah, he, he he's, so. yeah he says it with a uh, J sound. Oh, okay, interesting. So, so I think it's preserved. Yeah, my, I think it's intentional. So that rules. That's great. It's very interesting. Yeah, it doesn't even care enough to pronounce her name correctly. How rude. <laughs>